Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I wanted to show a couple of things um, more about setting whole sewing and, and why you might be getting error messages. And then I also wanted to talk a little bit about the sewing order. First, let me clear the text off the screen so we have a little more space. And then we'll look at the shape of the bell that I imported from Outline Shapes under Events. And I drew the shape of a oval using the circle tool. You'll notice that the oval is positioned over the bell. If for some reason I'm working on something and digitizing and I don't want to see a shape, all I need to do is select that shape and click the eye. And now it's hidden. In order to bring that shape back, I click the eye and it's in the foreground and if I want to create a hole in this just as a recap I had this in another video I can select the center hold the control key and select the background and now I can choose modify overlap set hole sewing and you notice now that I have a hole in the center of the bell so the reason again that you would want to do this is if you did not want those stitches to overlap that's why it's called modify overlap let's undo go back a step and let me remove the, the shape and now what i want to do is i want to select this little candy cane and we'll make it a little bit larger and again, because this is a shape, I can just drag that shape. It's an object right now. It's not stitches. If it was a stitch file, I need to hold the control key to resize it. So now I have the candy cane on top of the bell. I'll hold down my control key and select the bell. And I'll choose Modify Overlap, Set Home Sewing. And the first thing you see is Invalid Pair Selected. And you're going to ask yourself, well, why can I not remove this overlap or set a hole with this candy cane? And I'll tell you why. The reason you cannot is that there are multiple stitch angles. And to see that, let's first go in and select the bell. So let me click off and we'll select the bell. We'll go into sewing attributes. And this is at a 45 degree angle. Now let's go in and let's look at some of the sections of this shape. This is zero degrees. That's 90 degrees. This is 45 degrees. And that's 45 degrees. So what the reason you cannot remove the overlap from this shape is because there are multiple stitch angles. If I go ahead and remove the candy cane, uh, deleting it, and I didn't get everything, let me do that again. And there's still a portion of it, but this will serve for the example. Let's look at this shape. This shape is at a 45 degree angle and we'll even change it to 149 degrees and make it larger. Okay, now let me go ahead and select the shapes, the two shapes, and let me go back into Modify Overlap and Set Hole Sewing. And you see it was able to do that. But it could not set the whole sewing for the entire candy cane because there are multiple stitch angles in that object. I hope this has helped you. Please have a safe and happy holiday. And please like and subscribe to my videos. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you.